So generally speaking, in the Roblox anime community, people hate bandit beaters. It's to the point where if you go on pretty much any comment section on any Roblox anime YouTube video, you're gonna see someone trash talk bandit beaters, talk about bandit beaters, or say something negative about bandit beaters. So it's really weird that despite how many people hate bandit beaters and swear they'll never touch a bandit beater again, bandit beaters dominate Roblox and are one of the biggest categories on Roblox. So after thinking about why this is for pretty much years of my life, and then going to ask you guys what you think, I'm pretty sure I've come to a pretty decent conclusion. But first we need to clarify what is a bandit beater because I see so many people using the word bandit beater just throwing it around like they know what it means and they really have no idea what they're talking about. I wish I had the comment but I seen someone call a battlegrounds game a bandit beater and that's where I knew people were not even listening to what they were saying. But there is no exact definition for what a bandit beater is so let me give you the definition I'm working with. To me a bandit beater is where a game has their almost entire progression system based on beating bandits and has little to no end game content or any content outside of the realm of beating bandits. But now that we established what a bandit beater is, what makes bandit beaters so successful on Roblox? And I want to start this off by talking about how bandit beaters are extremely easy to make. And when easy to make bandit beaters are the standard for games in the Roblox industry, what does that mean? People are gonna go with what the standard is and that's bandit beating. And you're probably thinking just because games are making bandit beaters doesn't mean people are necessarily gonna play them, right? And normally I would think this would be true. If you release a trash product, what are you gonna get? Trash results. But I think Roblox is an exception and that's because Roblox has zero competition to bandit beaters. There's no alternative for players to play. And as a lot of y'all probably know, we're going through some of the most dry months of roblox in a long time and this does nothing but benefit bandit beaters because if there's no games going above bandit beaters and actually doing something to raise the quality of the standard of games in general what are people going to keep doing just keep abusing the infinite money generator that is making a bandit beater because realistically think about it try to name some games as of recently that have actually expanded outside of just pure bandit beating and actually made something that's innovative in nature or anything and the only game i could think of of recently that has done that on roblox is arcane odyssey but besides that is pretty much nothing and that's why you see games like pixel piece release and despite how bad the game was on release it still had so much success not because the game was actually good but because the players had no alternative to play the next thing i want to talk about is familiarity which bandit beaters have because they're all the same exact game so since they're all the same game you know what you're getting with a bandit beater and i honestly didn't even think this existed until i seen people load up arcane odyssey see that there was actual cutscenes and stuff and go yo what is this where are the bandits at wait where's my bandit quest and then they quit the game after five minutes and not even giving it a chance and these same people that quit without even giving arcane odyssey a chance probably played the entirety of pixel piece the entirety of gpo the entirety of blocks roots and then the entirety of fruit warriors but now i want to respond to some of your guys's comments and thoughts you had about this topic if you want to participate next time make sure to subscribe i do this quite a lot actually so pull up the first comment i want to look at says i don't think it has anything to do with beating bandits it's more about the levels and long-term investment to eventually become a god and this is interesting because like you said it's definitely not bandit beating itself that makes people like bandit beaters it's the rewards that they get for bandit beating in these games for example stat points even i would say they give you stat points as some sort of reward like you're really accomplishing something by beating the same five bandits but it actually works and kind of like you said these stat points and occasional power-ups make you feel like you're becoming a god and it distracts you from the actual gameplay you're experiencing and once you finally actually do get to the point where you are actually that god i feel like there's really nothing to do in these bandit beater type games someone commented bandit beating is inevitable in any fighting game even outside of roblox which is pretty true but what some people don't realize is bandit beating does not equal bandit beater which is why i want to explain what a bandit beater is earlier pretty much any rpg game is gonna have bandit beating as one part of the game but like i said where it becomes a bandit beater is where that's all the content content or almost all of the content in the game the next comment i want to look at says that it appeals to the younger audience because they don't have other things going on in their life and they just go home play the game and they see their numbers on their damage and their level going up they're like damn and they get a lot of dopamine from that and i agree with most of what he's saying here but what this really made me think of is i think a lot of people are oblivious to that they're playing a bandit beater especially kids like i feel like they're, they go from island to island to island doing the exact same thing and they don't even think about it like they don't even think damn i just did this literally five minutes ago on the island before and this is the same thing like i really don't think they even realize the last thing i want to talk about in this video is a topic that i've seen revolver agz talk about a few times and that people actually enjoy bandit beaters and even though they say they 
they don't, they still do. And I see where he's coming from this because, like I said, Bandit Beaters have so much success on Roblox. It's almost hard to believe how much hate they get. But I don't think people like Bandit Beaters. I think people just play Bandit Beaters because there's literally nothing else to play on the platform. And I do think that if we start seeing some more quality non-Bandit Beater games, that I do think Bandit Beaters will slowly start to fade away. But the only problem is it takes way less time to make a Bandit Beater than it does a quality game. So it takes so long to get a lot of quality all the games to actually release i don't want to drag this video on for too long but if y'all actually enjoy my content i would appreciate if y'all subscribe we almost at 5k so i think if like one out of every like 20 of y'all subscribe i think we could get to 5k either way i appreciate y'all love y'all later